can't have any doors that open. The slightest breath of air will crumble those pages into powder. Can you stand it? I'd go without breathing if it was meant to find out who killed your father. You may have to. Look. See what I mean? This is going to be tough. Inside this burnt heap of paper is the answer to what we want to know. To what your father was seeking. Oh, Bob, it frightens me to think of what we might find out. Ah, we'll cross that little bridge when we come to it. Right now, I'm only interested in getting this old machine together. Do you really think that it can photograph with the letters on burnt paper? Well, if we can get those charred pages to stay in one piece long enough. You know, it's amazing what infrared can do. The tour. My father was magistrate there. He asked Dr. Morris to bring me to America. He said there would be a lot of trouble in Europe. How long ago was that? Seven years ago. What's the matter, Lieutenant? You think maybe Elsa's a werewolf in her spare time? are at your service. I'd like to speak to Mr. Adamson or one of the sons. Mr. Adamson is dead. I am the last of the sons. Is this a professional call? Well, not exactly. The, the name is Morris. Uh -huh. I'm doing some research on a gypsy tribe called the Traiga. Oh. I'm told that they ship their dead here and then the living members gather from all over the country about this time of year for one great funeral. True, true, Mr. Morris. We have refrigerated vaults in the basement and the deceased are kept there until the time for the funeral. Would you excuse me a moment while I switch off the electric organ? You uh, probably have records of when this temporary burial practice began. Records of the early gypsy families. I wonder if I might see them. You see, I'm looking for a certain woman known to have joined the tribe many years ago. I'm sorry, Mr. Morris. Professional ethics. The Traiga are very secretive. They send us their dead. We keep them. On ice, of course. And then they come and take them away. Those old records are stored in the basement. No one is allowed to see them. Do you know, I myself am not certain where the Toiga gypsies finally bury their dead. I believe they have some sort of secret burial ground. Oh, I'll have to leave you now. Someone's being delivered at the service entrance. I'm sorry I couldn't be of more help to you. If you care to wait, I'll give you what information I can. Thank you, Mr. Adamson. Easy on the eyes? Well, if you put it that way, yeah. Mr. Morris, we can be friends. Okay. Please call me Celeste. Celeste. Bob? Well, that does make it a little less formal. Bob, you're a little afraid of me. No. Should I be? A woman likes to have a man a little afraid of. Who was that pretty girl at the inquest? Elsa Chauvet. She's in love with you. Well, I hope so. Are you in love with her? We're going to be married as soon as I go back to Washington. I wonder if she realizes how fortunate she is. Was there anything to stop you from being that fortunate? Tell me what happened. Did you learn anything new at the mortuary? Oh, no, not as much as I wanted to. What took you so long? Well, I ran into that whole gang of gypsies at Adamson's. Celeste was there. Celeste? Yeah, the gypsy princess. As a matter of fact, she, she asked me to drive her home, and I did. You drove her to the gypsy camp? Yeah, I stayed for tea, too. It was very interesting. She, she told me a lot of things about herself and her tribe. Did you know that the Troiga tribe has one of the few forms of matriarchal inheritance left in the world? You know, where they pass the title from mother to daughter instead of father to son. Blood to blood, they call it. No, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's true. Celeste told me. She inherited her title from her mother. 
to last. Well, that's her name, darling. She asked me to call her that and instead of Princess. But I don't understand. At the inquest this morning, you were convinced that there was some connection between these gypsies and your father's death. And now, you act as though that suspicion was the farthest thing from your mind. Darling, what has come over you? Well, nothing. It's just now that I've met and talked with the gypsies, I'm, I'm convinced they're simple, harmless people. They may have strange customs and secrets, yes, but, well, I'm not going to run around and make wild accusations against innocent people. Maybe there's some things we just don't understand. I'm as certain that that gypsy girl is evil as I am that I breathe. Oh. Deep in my heart, I know. And I'm afraid. Afraid of what it'll do to us. To you. Oh, darling, you take things too seriously. I think is yours. It explains a great deal. Burn, do they not? The trap, Celeste. You might as well give up. Come, Elsa. We must go build ourselves another temple. The old one has been desecrated. It's all over with. Nothing can harm you now. <laughs> 